쿠키쇼 To our welcome back to do it some time. I forgot. Okay, I remember now. Our cooking, cooking show. show. Alright, let's get right in here. Let's, let's, let's get down to the nuts and guts of fondue. Now uh, fondue is is originally uh, Recorded in 1699. In 1699 they developed the word fondue, which means cooking with fire. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, this is the first recorded. Now, they used to use cheese, and now uh, it's kind of opened up. You can use oil, you can use cheese, or wine, what, you white could, wine. You could use white wine, or you could use what we're using today, which is chocolate. chocolate. Now, the reason that that's kind of a, a very normal thing here in the United States is because of Elvis Presley. Yep. In the 1950s and 60s, I think what year was it exactly? 1957. Uh, Elvis 1957, Presley had a show. Uh, Elvis Presley was in Hawaii. Entertaining the troops, and um, yeah, as a special treat, he brought a pot of molten chocolate on stage and allowed the troops to dip in different Whatever they wanted. Hawaiian fruits, pineapple, papaya, papaya. Yeah, it's a treat. And so then, when the troops went home, they brought it back to all of us. So you could say thank you, Elvis, and thank you, troops. Yeah, it caught on. So today we've kind of got started already. We've cut up a gluten-free brownie. Uh, gluten-free works better because it doesn't turn into cream of wheat. And personally, I have to use it anyways. You want a bar of chocolate um, with the lines in it, the score lines, makes it easy to score and snap. It's or a little tech scored. tip for you. Tech, tech tip, tip number one. Use the score lines to snap the chocolate in small bite-sized pieces to drop in. You can also use very small Ch dark chocolate covered almonds. Now, if you in. use dark chocolate covered almonds, you have to use a, a lot of them because it's more almond than it is chocolate. And both of us love nuts, right? Well, no. So we're actually, sprinkle in a ton of Actually, I don't like nuts. Pieces. In fact, I, I don't think I can even eat nuts. Pecans, maybe. I can't have almonds, which you already put in there. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to scrape the sides. I'll be okay. It. Yeah, I'll eat you around it. Eat around the. So, chips. you just mix it in. You can still eat around it. You can wow. spit them out. Like watermelon okay. seeds. All right. Well, I was hospitalized as a toddler because of nuts, so let's see what happens. Oh, nuts! I melted the. <laughs> oh, dude, you shouldn't use that. Okay. Tech tip number two, as he just uh, demonstrated, you can't use plastic inside of a hot pot. Who knew? So use metal prongs that come with all kinds of uh, fondue kits. Also, while you're waiting, you can do this. Good point. Kind of sounds okay. like a snare drum. I am gonna finish up a really quickly. Cutting our fruits. We have strawberries. We have apples. We have bananas. I don't. I couldn't find papaya. I think it's out of season. Or pet. I couldn't find cherries. Pineapples are hard to cut, so we didn't get one of those. Yeah. Same with coconut. Coconut's really hard. To okay, open. you uh, you really want a spoon that has like um, grooves in it for search and rescue oh, in case you drop things in, which we don't, we don't have. have. We couldn't afford that in the budget for the show. But that's something that we need for the future. Here are other things that you need in order to do your fondue right. You right. need safety glasses, which we both are wearing. You need oven mitts, which we forgot, so let's hope we don't burn ourselves. Um, you need aprons, and you also need hairnet or what we have is hats. We have a hat because we're going to get right in here. I'm going to skewered a gluten free brownie. Make Ooh. sure you use gluten free products because. Um, Wheat products will turn into cre a, literally a cream of wheat. So you crank that pot up, make sure oh. all the chocolate's melted. Now that happens a lot with gluten-free products because get they're really your crumbly. Hands. So you get in there with your hands. Now I'm gonna try to avoid the nuts here. Let's see how well I did. I got a couple on there. I'm Never gonna knock eat them off. off the skewer. You I'm gonna knock them off. off. Here, you gotta talk a little louder when I'm doing that. All right, so I've got chocolate on my strawberry. Now I'm gonna feed it to Chris. I can't eat off the skewer though. Why? Because that contaminates the mixture. You um, never want to double dip. Well, if you do, just don't bite or, or lick the skewer. Just try to avoid... Right. Is it really hot? Or save that for your intimate it partner. It's hot. I'm not... It's cooled down a little bit. All right, I'm going to transfer it to my melted fork. Ooh. Mm. So now this is a lot of fun. You can do this on date nights. Mm -hmm. The one... A farm don't of fondue is... Don't eat fondue alone. Don't eat fondue alone. If you're alone, it's actually a really good point. Don't do fondue. Maybe invite some friends over. Yeah, it's very dangerous. So when you do fondue with your family, you need to have a number one, an emergency escape route through your house or uh -oh. apartment, a meeting spot outside, like by the old oak tree, 
there's a fire in the house, you all know where to meet. Um, you need to have emergency numbers listed on a magnet on your refrigerator. So someone could call a fire department if, if necessary, because this does get hot and gets crazy. Oh, shoot. Mm. Oh, banana, this will be good. Banana and chocolate. That's delicious. Man. Uh oh. That's a nut. So eat around it. It'll be fine. All right, you know what's fun to do too? It's an entirely fondue I'm trying an apple. Uh, meal. You can do it with cheese and wine as an appetizer, and then move into veggies and whatever else you want to cook for the now I gotta pick all these supper off. and then finish up with a bottle of champagne which we forgot to buy and a dessert you shouldn't put nuts in here dude now I, look i gotta pick every single one off oh what's gonna happen yeah but that's really annoying dude you shouldn't have done that you should have asked me you always do this you have so many special needs i can't keep up you have dietary restrictions you have Flat feet, you, like, do you need to rest all the time? Okay, oh, excuse me. Excuse me, it's not my fault, dude. It's genetics. All right, well. So what the heck am I supposed to do, huh? This is delicious. It's not exactly low calorie, so. So maybe do a little a workout job. prior. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Oh, um, I think that's another nut. Yeah, let's put it on. Oh, huh. So there ah, you have it, folks. Ah. Oh, okay. So there you have it. You know how to do fondue, you know the safety, you know the tech tips. It was like a really hot pizza where the cheese sticks to the roof of your mouth. You gotta be careful with that, folks. This chocolate will stick to the roof of your mouth. It's very hot. I don't know. I don't have anything else to show you guys. I don't either. I mean, you can sit here and watch me eat it for a little while. Pretty straightforward. It's starting to burn a little. So turn it down. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no kidding. It smells burnt, too. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to just glue Okay, that's our show.